Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic, and today I'm going to quickly uh, show you how to install a Minecraft uh, server, set up a Minecraft server using Craft Bucket. Uh, Bucket's basically a um, kind of container for the original Minecraft server and adds a couple of things, including fantastic plugin support, so you can easily add in plugins. Um, you may be thinking you don't want plugins, but trust me, there are you do want plugins. Um, so to download it, you go, oh by the way this is going to be a series, the first one is just installing Bucket, uh, installing Minecraft server and the rest will be uh, about putting plugins in and things like that. So you click on uh, get craft bucket at the top and then you follow these instructions. I'm using Windows here, but there's instructions for Linux, Mac uh, and any other operating systems you may wish to run. So you just go ahead and download the recommended build by clicking here, and go keep. And then you've got to find a directory for where you want to put it. So, uh, for example, I want to put it into this folder I've got here called server. So you've also got to create this uh, document to um, to run it. So I'm just going to call it run.bat. The bat's important, but before that, it's not important. And then, as it says here, you just basically open the text editor and put this uh, in. So this basically runs the uh, server. Okay, apparently I didn't copy that properly. So you paste that in and then uh, you go back here. Uh, you can see, so basically it just starts Java. It uses 1,024 100, 1, megabytes of RAM. Opens the jar. The jar is called craftbucket.jar. Uh, yeah, that's basically all you really need to know about that. So once it's downloaded, so now that this is downloaded fully, we just drag that in. And then because we want to uh, we called craftbucket.jar, not all this 1.5.2 revision stuff. We just get rid of all that, go enter, that doesn't do anything uh, harmful. We double click on run, and it will start the thing. So there'll be a couple of warnings and stuff. This is basically because it hasn't been created ever before, so some of the files are missing, but it will create those uh, when you set up the thing, as we're doing here. So level 0, as you can see, that's just uh, the um, Regular world, level 1 to the nether, and then level 2 is the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this because it's just made a world with some random seed. And I want to put in my own seed and change a couple of the settings, so I'm just going to stop. Always type in stop instead of just closing it, otherwise you end up with uh, missing chunks and it is quite a pain to deal with. So now that we've done that, we can uh, go ahead and go into server properties, but I'm just going to quickly run through these other ones here. You've got banned IPs and banned players. Uh, when you do that in-game, when you ban these IPs or players, it'll automatically go into there, but you can go ahead and ban uh, just by typing in if you want to edit that. Bucket.yml, there's some configuration. Help, this is help. Ops is uh, ops, so and that, that kind of becomes irrelevant. Um, if you get a permissions plugin, which will be a video in the future. Got run.bat, which is what we made. Server.log is everything in that console, which is that black window we saw before. Goes straight into there. Server properties is we're going to go into a second. And whitelist. If you make it a whitelist enabled server, all the names in whitelist.txt will become uh, uh, be allowed to get in. So we'll just quickly run through some of the things here. Level name. That's basically just uh, what we've called we've called the actual world here. So I'm going to call that technologetic. Then you have another server port, um, that's if you want to change that to anything else, I'd, I just recommend leaving it to 25565. Uh, seed, if you want to do a custom seed, I actually do want to do a custom seed. I want to do that. Server IP, don't add anything here, otherwise it'll stuff up. Max build height, 512. If you want to have a whitelist, you can fix it there. Difficulty, 0 is peaceful, 1 is easy, 2 is normal, 3 is hard, so I want to do uh, 3 actually. And then game mode, that's the default one, so 0 is survival and 1 is creative. Change your max players, uh, make sure you do it appropriate for the hardware that you have. And finally, message of the day is just that description underneath uh, the server in the list. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead Control S to save. Just something quickly, I'm using Notepad++ here, this is basically an alternative to your regular Notepad. Uh, and there is uh, something, or the cool things with it is uh, that it color highlights the different uh, bits so you can understand what exactly is going on. Now this will make more sense when we go into .yml files later on, but uh, just 
to quickly uh, set this up now, you just go, if you go into uh, settings, preferences, and then go over to language menu slash tab settings and do replace by space, tick that like I have here. Uh, it'll work for YML files because you need, when you do a tab, you actually want there to be four spaces instead of a actual tab. Anyway, we'll go into that later, we'll close it out of this and we'll go ahead and run the server. In the meantime, I'm just going to set up my router settings so people outside my network can connect. Just uh, go ahead and go to your router page. I know mine's 192.168.0.1, but it may be uh, .1.1 or .2.1 or .3.1. Uh, basically, just look up the router that you have, and there will be an IP to get into it. From here, go to port forwarding, or in my case, firewall rules. And here you can set up port forwarding. And so you need to do this. You need to port forward Minecraft for other people to connect. So uh, I've already set it up here for this computer, but if I was to make a new one, you just add a name. It doesn't really matter. It's just like a description. You do the port 25565. That's the default one in your server properties file. If you've changed that, then you need to do a different one here. And then the local IP address is basically the uh, IP address or the number that your computer is assigned within your local network. So to figure out what this is, if you go into, uh, if you open the command prompt, open in your new window, and type in IPCONFIG, which, stand, which is IP config with no spaces, you'll get all this information. Scroll up and you find the network thing that you're using, whether it's Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So in this case, I'm using Ethernet. And then look under IPv4 address. It'll have a number, 192.168.0.17. So 17 is my number, so we can close this. And we go ahead and change this for 17. But as you can see, I've already added it here, so I'm not going to add that again. But that's basically the process for it. So now that we've done that, we'll have a look at uh, if this is uh, loaded. And you can see, yes, it's done. And it's successfully run it. So we'll just check if we can log in by opening Minecraft. Now that we're in, we'll go multiplayer, and then we'll figure out what IP address this actual computer is. So if we go into uh, back into Google Chrome, or whatever your web browser is, type in what is my IP. Uh, there's multiple ways of figuring this out, but I just reckon this is the easiest way, just by Googling what is my IP. It'll come up and tell you that your IP is this number here. Join server. And as you can see, I've successfully logged in, and it works. So now that I've done this, it's time to figure out how to install plugins. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe for more videos about setting up a Minecraft server.